lid. I'm super duper excited. Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Daquana White. I bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content. So I'm super duper excited to give you guys this styling haul. I know you guys, I try on so many items and you're like, okay, but how are you going to wear that? Um, so this is like a transition haul slash styling lookbook and this is featuring pretty little thing i would like to thank them of course for sponsoring this video everything that i do try on will be one named on the screen and two linked down below so because now, these pieces i feel like are more transitional depending on where you live i'm in north carolina these pieces probably won't be utilized for much longer because it's getting warm outside but sometimes they sweep back in and we have like what they call a third winter so yeah i might be able to utilize some of my pieces but nonetheless i try to pick out some timeless pieces that i feel will bring us into next winter and winters to come or falls and winters to come so don't worry about none of that i still have some pieces that you can wear for both spring and fall slash winter so let's just go ahead and hop in um if y'all don't know real quick i am doing like 21 days of making better decisions i'm not even gonna hold y'all i was gonna you know postpone and be like oh i'll work tomorrow oh the next day and i'm like you know what no today i made my bed today i cleaned my beauty or my closet room and now i'm like let's just go ahead and get some content done and that way we'll be straight for the week we'll have some good videos going up and i want to be more consistent because as you can see i have been getting shadow banned and that's because i just haven't been posting consistently i kind of post when i want to and i want to get out of that habit okay so here is the first look with the shades this is what is given i definitely would do a little you know hang off the shoulder moment now one thing i'm really really excited about and because i have on super long lashes i have to take these shades off but one thing i'm really excited about is these cargo pants so one the shades will be linked of course and listed on the screen two we're gonna go into the sneakers just because we're keeping with accessories um these sneakers are really comfortable they're just like a white and i'll show a picture but they're just like a white tennis shoe um, I like them because I feel like you can pair them, you know, with workout gear, with cargos, with jeans, skirts, dresses, whatever. They're kind of just effortless. So, and they're comfortable. Like, I can't stand on uncomfortable shoes. And I do got some heels up in here. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, baby, I don't know. But, um, into these pants because, like I said, I'm really excited about them. I've been trying to get some plus size wide leg cargo pants. And because of the material of cargo pants, they always seem to just be too snug in the waist, thigh, and stomach area. And these come up so high. They're so good. Honestly, I have a little bit of room and they have a slight stretch. Most cargo pants, like, they don't always have that stretch. They're like a cotton wool, just real stiff material. But these have a nice little stretch. Could I have sized down? I don't think so because I feel like it would have been pulling in this area. So if I wanted a tighter look, maybe. Definitely tall friendly because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I have them kind of gathered, but as you can see on this leg, they cover my shoe and they would drag the ground. Um, so here is the back. They come up high. I have them on some high waist underwear, but they come up nice and high. It's not giving butt crack, so I'm really excited about that. And I just paired like this square neck tank with this, this crop tank, just because I wanted something simple. And I'm definitely moving into my simple but effective phase. And yeah, this hair is aggravating me. So with that, I was like, this is kind of outside of the pants. The bomber or bomber, bomber <laughs> was really like a statement. I love this. It's giving edgy. It's definitely... Uh, it's not warm enough for some snow outside, but it is warm enough to keep you um, comfortable. Um, like I said, I wouldn't wear it in negative degree weather, but for me, a turtleneck with this, I would be warm enough, or a hoodie with this, and I'll be warm enough. Now, I actually wanted to wear this one second. So, I actually wanted this outfit to be gray vibes, and I wanted to do 
the gray cargo with this however these did not work because they have no stretch i think these might be a us 28 and these are us 26 but these have no give and they just wouldn't work for me like i ain't even try them on because i already knew but yeah that's these right here um again i'll link them but they just didn't work for me y'all know i ain't no good when it come to heel so forgive me for coming up out of these prematurely okay so i'm actually gonna um show a picture of these of course because it's gonna be hard to see the shoes anyway but let's just go ahead and get into this fit <laughs> shoes first these are the denim like fold over boots really really cute but y'all know i'm not no i'm not no hill girl and those are like four four and a half so another accessory is this really cute padded tote i thought that was so freaking cute and because i was doing like this padded coat i was like yes let's go with this now i thought this coat would be good for transitioning because um with a lot of coats like this they look heavier than they actually are unless you have like the super insulated ones so it's not going to be too too bad but i feel like this color is perfect for transitioning and even though it looks like uber warm it ain't like you about to you know roast or anything but yeah i like this and i especially love like this dramatic collar and the fact that it has this belt because that's definitely probably how I would wear this and I really don't have to worry about what's underneath. Now, this top is a little big, but we will get into it. Now, initially I was gonna go with like um, a, I thought I had picked out the light blue denim, but I have the black one here. Um, I would have preferred to do the blue with the blue shoes, the blue coat, whatever the case may be. So, yeah, this skirt is just, like, it's cute, it's different. I feel like I would love to do, or, like, I had it, booties with this one because I feel like it just looks better, in my opinion, um, with a longer jean skirt. This one does have that front slit, but it's not so apparent. So, absolutely love that. It comes up nice and high. Um, so, yeah, it is more of, it has a slight stretch, but it's more of a firm denim. So then I just was going to go with this top here. And honestly, when you take these like pieces separately, you'll probably be like, girl, absolutely not. But when I put everything on, I was like, okay, okay, I see what the vision was. <laughs> okay, so this top here is cute. It does have these like pockets here or like this faux pocket um, flap. And then it does have functional buttons. Now, what's funny is it's really big in the boot part where it like fell down or was sliding down, but the buttons are actually buckling. So I'm like, how is it too big and too small? <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. I wouldn't probably, that's why I had it like folded under on one side because honestly, I would have probably just preferred to just have it like this rather than um, it like in its full length. But either way, I wanted the coat tied. So it went all you saw was really a peak of the white peak of the black but yeah that is this fit here deconstructed clearly let's just go ahead and hop into the next one and because i know how those boots are i don't know if i'm gonna put them on baby okay, so this looks like a dress but it's actually a skirt and a top i love this two-piece set honestly because i i was like mm, i'm not gonna get the 26 i'm glad i didn't i got the 24 the us 24 and i still feel like it's a you know it's a little bit of wiggle room but i feel like any tighter would have just made it i don't know unflattering in a sense um then you have this top here uh this is one of the better fitting like corset style it has like a really flexible bone in here but this is one of the um only corset style tops that i've had that i've had from plt that actually fits nicely it's not too too big in the boob area it's just right in my opinion and i have to see what size i got but you will see that on the screen um i love this lace up detailing over here on the side of the skirt um and then it just has like a, a nice little dip to it of course if you want it like cropped you can always go for that type of vibe and tuck it in or you can just wear it out now initially <laughs> i had got those same boots just in this cream color 
to pair with this but like i said y'all know me i'm not a i'm not really the hill girl if they make these in flat i will be all over it <laughs> but these right here girl qaf they fit the calf and stuff well the ankle not really the calf but yeah no so i'm honestly gonna think um try to find like um a shoe person i forget what you call them and see if they can make those boots flat somehow or at least like two inches um so yeah like deconstruct them and do what they got to do but i was gonna pair this purse i actually had another one in mind that they had on the site but it had sold out and came back and it was gold but this pearl one actually matched a little bit better i just have my hair clip on there but i love this and i got this like two pretty little thing hauls ago one or two but yeah love this i think it was two hauls ago um so i was like that will look really really cute now this is perfect for spring summer but if you're you know still getting a little bit of chilly weather i did pick out this coat here crop faux leather jacket i love this like absolutely love this okay um i would probably wear it closed because i feel like it has so much appeal um and honestly i would probably go with a jean like a khaki jean or maybe a tan color because this is so nice i don't know if it's gonna pick up that texture but y'all i love this i love it it's everything and it feels so nice it's not too too heavy um, so if you're looking for, again, transitional, then I would highly recommend this. I thought I broke my belt. Um, the tag had came off. I was like, no. Yeah, it seems to just have this button here, no zipper. So you would just have to do it like that and then fasten it here. And oh my gosh, I love this. I absolutely love this. One of my favorite things so far. Um, and like I said, you can get away with jeans pants even this skirt is okay with it but i think i would prefer a jean with it and honestly i'm the girl who wears white before memorial day so i think a white jean would be so so fire with this jacket okay baby she's cute but she is loud okay so this one flowed perfectly and came out well was executed just as i imagined it in my head of course we will go through piece by piece so starting with the sneaker i went with a tan and white of course i'll pop it on the screen because you know you may not be able to see it and then for again accessories this purse here has like a nice little crocodile alligator feel to it probably won't show up but it's really really cute and of course i love the gold hardware sometimes it's hard to find a good white purse and i have so many good white ones from pretty little thing so absolutely love this okay so then let's go ahead and get into the jacket this is beautiful i love like a maxi trench or windbreaker i think this is so so cute all right and the color um i went with nudes and neutrals for a lot of these but i, I don't know i just been feeling that lately but yeah this is really really cute and it does have pockets or are they faux okay they real they real so it does have pockets and then you can let out the elastic on the side so you don't have to have it cinched at the waist and you can actually zip it up if you choose to now taking this off we have these like windbreaker filled pants and it's really interesting because oh it does have a hood okay but it's really interesting because uh i just posted a vlog for you all and i was working on something and it's like wow okay um here we have these pants um these windbreaker pants they're allowed so you're definitely gonna make noise with these but they're comfy cozy they do have pockets the only thing is the drawstring i feel like it doesn't give me enough like cinching like i want it to be snug but i feel like these are just real loose and cozy and comfy and that's not a problem either the only thing i wish with these is because i'm five four full measurements are on my site link down below but it's just like i'm five four and with that being said 
I tend to have pants that drag the ground. So these, I would have loved to have a drawstring at the bottom so I could cinch that too so it wasn't dragging the ground. And I just went with this like ribbed, like bunny, not body time, but it is fitted, this ribbed fitted tank. And I was either gonna tuck it or crop it. And yeah, it's high neck, it's comfortable. And it's like a staple just to have because you can always pair it with stuff. Jeans, skirt, sweats, these like windbreaker joggers. Um, it just works cropped or just tucked in or full length. So that's the pieces here. And again, I just wanted these to come up higher and have like more of a cinch effect because when it's not cinched enough, it just tends to, you know, slide down a little bit. So that's the only thing I would say about these joggers here. All right, so y'all know I can't do heels too, too long. So I'm gonna try to get through this fit. This was another one that was slightly executed how I imagined it. Now, let's go ahead with the accessories. I have them same old shades that I wore with I think the first fit. And this is kind of what it was given. I just thought it would work with this one. I was like, oh wait, I could do a shade. But yeah, same of course from Pretty Little Thing and will be linked. Then I went with this simple cream. I didn't want anything to match, okay, if I didn't make that apparent. I wanted it to kind of flow without having to be too matchy matchy. So I went with this simple cream, like scoopy type of purse, real cute, real simple. Put my glasses down. All right, so then um, shoes. Now I'm about to actually take these off, but these um, are like, I don't want to call them soggy boots, but they remind me of like soggy boots, okay? So you can definitely, I will wear these with that black denim skirt because I feel like they will slouch just enough on the leg and still give it that bye bye boom. So I wanted to actually tuck these in like the model had them tucked in. I want to say these actually said wide calf and y'all. Okay, these are more comfortable than the denim and the cream um, fold over boots. Definitely could stand the knees, walking knees, whatever the case may be. Um, now, the jeans are way too long, and I'm going to take the shoes off in a second so you guys can see. Um, initially, I wanted it to just point out, like, for the boot to poke out a little bit because I didn't think tucking the jeans in would work. So I wanted it to just have, like, a little poke out yeah no but these jeans had a lot of room in them they're um kind of a stiffer material and i will say they're not too big like in this area they fit how i expected but they are too long on me now this top i knew i wanted the top to be really really fitted because we had the oversized faux leather green trench we had the oversized jeans the slouchy boots i wanted the top to be it. and this is perfect nice little knit material love the way it fits it's beautiful has like of course the not choker neck the turtleneck I would do jewelry with this but I just didn't pair it with it yet here but yeah so let me see if I can show y'all because every time I say something is too long people are like just put on a heel you still can't see my feet okay so that does not work um, but yeah, I initially was like, oh, let's see if we can have a little pointed toe hanging out. No, ma'am. All right. So then we have this green trench, which I'm in love with. It's definitely a statement. Okay. It's not your everyday. You can also belt it. All right. I should have took pictures with it belted because I think that would have been really, really cute too. I just love this. Now, I would have probably sized down, but I pro I think I probably got the only size that was left or one of the only sizes because this one was one of those not a lot left items. So I hope you guys can snag it. But if not, y'all know Pretty Little Thing comes through with the trends every single year. So maybe next year they will bring it back in different colorways so you guys can snag it. But yeah, love this piece again statement so that was my pretty little thing styling haul hope you guys truly enjoyed um this is not i would say my everyday style which seems to shift sometimes i like fitted sometimes i like oversized um i feel like when it comes to plt i'm really concerned like i love to get the largest size available just because they are one of the brands that do 
go up in size so then i get it and i'll be like dang i could have sized down but for this haul i think i only could have sized down when it came to jackets but i think the pants if i would have sized down it wouldn't have worked the tops were okay except for that one that had like the corset but yeah um those first cargo pants i really really like that blue coat that taupey coat i love all the coats we did today that was like one of the things i was like i want to bring it together with a coat because you can always put on a jean and a top but really that coat that shoe and that purse it's really going to tie things together along with your jewelry okay so love the coats here and i really played off of the coats i started every fit by browsing the coat section and the jacket section so again i'll have everything linked once again thank you the pretty little thing for sponsoring this video and your girl is becoming more consistent with the content you're probably going to get two to four videos a week simply because i've been blogging a lot <laughs> i've been doing a lot of like collabs i have a lot of things coming up so i'm super excited and hopefully uh youtube will unshadow ban us okay but yeah thank you guys so so much for joining this pretty little thing haul oh.